Number 1 Butterfly Pavilion and Insect Center The Butterfly Pavilion and Insect Center in Westminster, Colorado aims to change the way that people typically think about insects, as well as provide guests with a chance to see a wide variety and large number of butterflies as they fly freely around them. The Butterfly Pavilion is the first standalone nonprofit. Number 2 Big Dry Creek Trail the Big Dry Creek Trail offers an array of activities for visitors and locals alike throughout the year. The point-to-point, 11.7-mile -point trail often has a moderate amount of traffic between Broomfield and Westminster, Colorado, and passes a lake along the way. The trail is a great way to spend the day outdoors as it is a good trail for all ages and skill levels. Number 3 Stanley Lake Regional Park the Stanley Lake Regional Park acts as both a facility for storing water and a multi-use recreational park. It provides the supply of drinking water for Westminster, Thornton, and North Glen, Colorado. The lake itself, Stanley Lake, spans across more than 1,000 acres and is the largest body of water in the city and the third largest reservoir in the metropolitan area of Denver. Number 4 Westminster Center Park Westminster Center Park is a manicured, well-maintained, 10-acre city park that features a play area, an amphitheater, and an obelisk at the center. The grounds include water features, a whimsical playground, a walking trail, a plaza, and an expansive grassy area for playing lolling about. Number 5 Bell Tower The Bell Tower of Westminster, Colorado, is located at City Hall and forms a connection between the city of Westminster in the United States and Westminster, England. In 1988, the city in Colorado topped the Bell Tower, which stands at 14 stories tall, with pyramid-shaped structure made out of steel mesh. The 130 feet tall spire inspires nearly everything in Westminster, from the city slogans to the city logo. Number 6 The Greg Mastriona Golf Courses at Highland Hills the Greg Mastriona Golf Courses at Highland Hills is a highly acclaimed golf facility in Westminster, Colorado. The Gold Course is the golf course facility's only 18-hole golf course. It first opened back in 1959 and was designed by Frank Hummel. The landscape along the Gold Course at the Greg Mastriona Golf Courses at Highland Hills is hilly with seven ponds that together create a stunning atmosphere for golfers to enjoy. Number 7 The Frightmare Compound The Frightmare Compound, founded in the year 1983, was the first haunted house to open in the metropolitan area of Denver. Brad Holder obsessively created the scariest haunted house in Colorado for more than 16 years before he died of illness. It's said that he is buried somewhere in the horror house in the deepest caverns. Number 8 Walnut Creek Golf Preserve during the summer, the weather in Colorado is perfect for golf. Blue skies, low humidity, and moderately warm temperatures make for great days on the links, and the Walnut Creek Golf Preserve is one of the area's most unique and popular courses. The course is spread over more than 200 acres and has been certified by the Audubon Society as an animal sanctuary, which means it's common to see a number of species of birds and animals during your round, many of which are rare. Number 9 Aurora History Museum Located just a short drive from Westminster, the Aurora History Museum has been a local attraction since the late 70s and features an impressive collection of memorabilia, artifacts, documents, and photographs pertaining to the Denver area's history. Many of the museum's exhibits focus on the settlement era, Native Americans, and the local economy in ages past, but there are also quite a few that touch on contemporary history, including the city's brewing industry. Number 10 The Plains Conservation Center Though Denver is a large metropolitan center that offers travelers a variety of big city amenities and attractions, most of the rest of the state is a wild and natural wonderland that's among the most rugged and undisturbed in the lower 48. Located on East Hampton Avenue in nearby Aurora, the Plains Conservation Center is a protected natural area that's not only focused on habitat preservation, but educating the public on the importance of being good stewards of the natural world. Hope you like this video. For more videos, please subscribe to our channel.